Yo. What up, everyone? We're back uh, with another episode of Top 3 Tech. I got the partner in crime right here. What up, what up? And uh, I, I wanted to install these fans. And since I wanted to bring these to the front of my radiator, I pretty much figured it, that we might as well rewire, we, rewire this whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! Look, and then in the reflection, that's everything disconnected. There's a big old rat's nest. So, yeah, bro. Let's get this thing going. Should be lit. All right, so I'm gonna give you a quick breakdown of what is inside before we go. So it's the Lian Lee Line Cool 2 case, not the mesh as you can tell, but I have my Tough Gaming um, X570 Plus Wi-Fi um, motherboard in here. And then I have the 6800 Sapphire Pulse. It does have the, the 750 watt Seasonic Prime. It's platinum, don't ask me why, just because I can. And then it also got a Ryzen 5, uh, Ryzen 5, uh, Ryzen 7 5800X. So, like I said, this all started because... This all started because I wanted to mount three fans to the front of my radiator. And I also wanted to install this USB-C to the top. So I can have that there, and so it just turned into rewiring the computer. So let's get it going. So this is gonna be the before. Pretty much, this might look the same. Here's the front, and then this back part. Oh look how it's not that bad. I don't know why he's tripping. He doesn't need to rewire it. Ugh. Look at that, and then. Oh, and then oh it gets god. uglier. Oh god. <laughs> and then wait for it. Nah, you got it. This is why it's cool having two people. There you go, look that, it. That's not bad. So this is the before, and you guys will see the after at the end, obviously. And we might um, find a couple of those um, thumb pins in there, because I think I've lost probably two. But anyways, this was my original build. I did not think ahead of how I was gonna build it. So obviously when it came to wiring, it got crazy. But luckily I could think, you know, I could think ahead now. I'm pretty much not gonna add too much more after this, but I have some stuff planned out in the future. So let's get this going. So we got everything disconnected so far. Now we're just trying to figure out, we're planning ahead, you know, what channels we're gonna use where everything's gonna go pretty much um the front panel ones are gonna go here the 24 pin and um some of the cables the SATA ones are gonna go right here and then this dark flash hub is probably probably gonna have to mount it up here somehow but let's get it going and we'll keep you guys updated oh and i took out the power supply too so I installed the fans in the front and then I'm gonna put them through the side right here through these holes and then I pulled them out through right here so this will be pulled so it doesn't look as bad so the next thing we did we uh, bundled up these fans from this dark Sheesh. flash Sheesh. <laughs> and uh, we also connected the AIO cooler to this so, work in progress. So, it might not look like it to you guys, but I can tell the big difference. We connected the fans. Well, since we had connected these front ones, we had to connect some hubs to it. This is all the front panel stuff. The ARGB fan, so there's like about nine, nine different plugins right there. Pretty much. Plus the LED case had to go into the Oh my goodness, this little fan hub from Dark Flash, which isn't a fan hub, but it is. And then this middle section right here, we had to connect some wires, the 24 pin. We still haven't pl plugged that in yet. I was like, whose phone is that? <laughs> Molex. Yeah, we had to use these dumb Molex because it's dumb motherboard sink. These fans are coming out pretty clean. That red wire is because that's a hard disk drive, so I want it to be shamed. But yeah, it's coming out pretty clean so far. It's almost done. 
Here's the final product, you guys. And then we'll just fix that. So that's how it looks like um, with that closed. And that's how it looks like after. The only wires you could pretty much see is just this one right here. And then this is how it looks like with the glass. So let's flip it over and see how the front looks. Still got to screw down the power supply and the shit. Yeah. And this is how it is. Um, all tucked in and everything. I added these stickers finally. Jeez. But it looks a lot nicer. All right, guys, this is how it looks like with the lights turned on. I didn't connect my NVMe. I haven't even connected it to my computer, but yeah, it looks a lot nicer. Um, shout out to the cousin for doing all the work. Hey, it wasn't easy, but someone had to do it. Someone had to do it. I gave him a beer, but you know, we're on the grind. Stay tuned in the next couple weeks for the Power Cool Red Devil 6700 XT I'm gonna be testing out. But, I mean, hey, look at that. Oh, I gotta show them the fans in the front. Why do I keep, why do I keep closing this? You wanna, it? Yeah, you wanna open it? Since I only have. Jeez, boy. Look at all them fans. Look at them fans. So now you got a push-pull configuration? Yeah, there's. The <laughs> Something like that? Yeah, so it's just more air in here. You would not really need it. <laughs> but. All right, hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll catch you guys for the next one. Let's go. Okay, I'm not even... <laughs> the off easy, bro. What'd you do to that one? You had my curiosity, but now you have my attention. <laughs> Hold on, shut up. Recording. Go back, go back in the hallway real quick, because I can see your little legs. And then this.